Hi y'all. Welcome to CC's Texas Garden. Y'all, it's August in Texas and it's hot. Your girl got her Timu fan that I got from Timu, <laughs> that little neck fan. Uh, we're not gonna stay out here long. I'm gonna show you a little bit of what um, I uh, planted and also what I done killed. Y'all, oh my gosh. Yeah, I was not thinking. And uh, also, I'm gonna harvest, I'm sweating like crazy, y'all. I'm gonna harvest some sweet potato leaves because my girl, PIA, Miss Tracy, uh, did her video on cooking some sweet potato leaves. And she made it look so good that I was like, you know, I'm just gonna go ahead and try them. I'm gonna go and try them, okay? Um, I'm gonna walk you around and show you some of the uh, fall seeds I already planted. I didn't bring y'all along with me. Um, I just got the stuff done. It's too hot to have a whole conversation. Like we talking too much now. <laughs> All right, let me show you what I've done. Okay, so over here this is where I have my trellis up here but um, I planted me some green beans right here I think I did like five four or five in this area um, just a bush variety of green beans and not the pole beans I should have did pole ones since I have this trellis here but you know anyway so I have some beans here in this pool um, I took the marigolds out of there and now we have beans we have the blue lake beans in here so um, yeah I'm trying to get my little collection of green beans um, our green beans now cannot handle this heat and so we're having to make them either in the springtime or in the fall to get a good harvest of beans so I have my beans in here Over here in this bed, I have lady, purple lady bok choy, and I have baby bok choy. So I have them both up in this bed together. The lady uh, bok choy will get a pretty big, but the little baby ones, they'll be small ones. I can harvest them um, as they come up. Over here in this bed, I have my tall uh, basil plants in here this is cinnamon basil this is sweet basil uh, but down here I went on and put my Georgia collards just went on and put them in there so that's that over here against this fence here I have spaghetti squash I'm gonna try to put some squash back out y'all vine board should be getting ready to move on out so I went on and planted me some new squash over here that I have it with the shade cloth on here on this raised bed. This is my mustard greens, y'all. This this is mmm. This is what I look for in the fall. These are red mustards and Florida mustards in here. I want it packed. I want it full up in this bed with those mustards. Okay. Now I left this side. Uh, I put that down, but I left this side with my marigolds and my zinnias. I still want pollinators to have some food, you know, but eventually I'm going to take those out, fill the rest of them with some uh, succession planting of some more of those mustards. Oh, y'all, oh, it's hot. It is hot out here. Okay. Uh, my, uh, what are these? <laughs> my okra. My okra are doing pretty good, as you can see. There is some aphid damage on these, but the newer ones are coming in a lot better. I'm getting a lot more. Um, they will start producing a lot more now. It's hot. This is the weather that okra loves. So I have these here. And now down here at the bottom here, um, these are Bubba. These are mini okras. They don't get no taller than maybe two feet. And uh, see, we got okra going on here so if you have a patio or you have a um, container growing and you don't have much space these bubba okra here 
are great for that. So I have one, two, three. I have three Bubba Okra under here. So you see how short they are compared to these tall <laughs> giant okras here. But um, I love having Bubba Okra. They taste good. And um, this is my banana melon. So I was looking up about this banana melon, y'all. This thing can get up to two feet in length and eight pounds eight pounds so right now it may be feel like maybe a pound you know pound point something but it got a while to go and um it's only one one plant going on in here but it's doing good squash vine boar trying to eat it up it's working on that side of it but apparently it's connected somewhere else in this ground so that is still growing now roselle are looking amazing i'm so happy with them thank you again chris and cheryl from back um, to our roots for sending me these roselle they are doing amazing okay so in these containers here oh let me get my seat y'all the girl is still dealing with my sciatic issues but i am pushing through and it's not gonna stop me because I'm a gardener. That's what we do. We're going to get out here and we're going to garden regardless. <laughs> okay. So I got some mustard greens in this container. I have some sweet William. So um, I talked about this last year when it gets ready for fall time. You know, if you deal with seasonal depression or anything like that, make sure that you have planted you some flowers because you're going to need flowers to just give you that boost of color and enthusiasm when you come out to your garden and everything is just green and brown you want color sweet williams are a good one they're good for the winter time they'll keep giving you beautiful flowers so sweet williams i planted some of that in this container i got some swiss chard now i am an in-ground grower as you can see i have raised beds i'm working on that one and I have containers. Now container growing is what I did for five years, five and a half years. I love container growing. If you ask me, that is my best way I love to grow. Uh, because you control the elements, you control what it gets. So, you know, if you want to not have that control, go ahead and put your stuff in the ground. <laughs> because you don't have no control over it, you know? anyway that's my little spiel about it i love container growing so a shout out to all the container growers uh g mama is definitely one of those container growers all right so this is some peas this is for domino and my mama because they both like peas i do not so uh, peas will climb up trellis up this little area and i will harvest their little peas i'm not gonna give the peas space in my garden this year i'm not because mm -mm, I, I don't like peas. Yeah. Okay. So in this container here is rainbow Swiss chard. We're going to have rainbow Swiss chard come up here. This is, I got to put a, uh, I got to get a tomato cage and put it here. But this is my blue butterfly pea. I had it on the, the um, patio, uh, on the porch. And the girl was yellowing out. So I, I brought her over here for she can be with her friends. And maybe she can chill out and get back some color in them okay here is let me see what kind of tomato this is it's a tomato <laughs> I didn't even say what kind, but I'm getting some blooms it's hot right now so I don't expect to get get anything to cool off but at least she keep trying she keep trying not until it cool off girl it's too hot all right here is a, a ground cherry set in here if I get some more ground cherries, that's cool. Carrots, y'all. Mm-hmm. Time to drop your carrots in. I love to do my carrots. Now, everybody do their carrots a different way. Some people put them in ground. I like them in containers more. And I don't cover them with any cardboard, board, wood, whatever. I don't. What I do is keep my ground, I keep it moist. Keep it moist. You don't have to do all that uh, peekaboo stuff with the cardboard. Just keep your carrots moist. Okay, 
here is my shampoo ginger she's just beautiful look at her she's just pretty y'all <laughs> i love her all right guys my neighbor gave me some boxes awesome i seen her throwing boxes away i'm like hold up are you throwing them away <laughs> give me them boxes i can fill my raised bed up with that that'd be less um you know because i don't know if i'm gonna get some logs and stuff before time even though i see some across the street i don't know if i want to be digging logs and trees and branches out uh, i may just fill this bed up with cardboard and then put the soil but back to what we were doing okay rainbow swiss chard just talking about my um uh, oops. uh i was talking about my what is that shampoo ginger y'all <laughs> shampoo ginger okay what else did i plant hmm oh so let me show you some stuff that oh yeah yeah before i do that yeah over here i have these wires all these tomato cages here but i planted me some talk soy right here which i need to put that in shade because talk soy do not to like heat um this is some ginger which i need to put back um this watermelon give me some space i can put this ginger back in here it's trying to take up all the room. Y'all. Yeah. Watermelon. Behave, girl. Behave. All right. Ginger. But, so Toxoy, I planted some nasturtium. Y'all, if you have not had nasturtium jelly, <laughs> amazing. It's good. I made some last year. But nasturtium flowers are beautiful. Uh, they have different colors and they're beautiful to see in the fall time so go plant you some nasturtium or get you some from the store i have some squash uh yellow crookneck squash and some zucchini i just have them sitting here they're seeds right now then they'll be okay all right um yeah i'm gonna move this talk soy come on talk soy you need to be in shape put you over here now to the stuff that I didn't kill. <laughs> Y'all, I knew better. I knew better and I did not do better. My squash, y'all. Look at all my baby squash that I took time and I grew in my little, um, the little greenhouse thing in the house. Y'all, I killed them. Look at this. Every one of these is dead. They ain't coming back. They are not coming back. Mm-mm how hard I may want them to. They're not. They're going to be part of the compost. I'm going to use the, uh, the soil for something else. Okay, let me tell you what I did. So you won't do that. You'll see some burning on my leaves of my mints. See how I, I burnt my mints up? Let me tell you what I did, y'all. And I know better, And uh, but I didn't do better. Um, in here is my super juice. You see, it's like mud. Okay. When you make super juice, when you put your plants and, and uh, food scraps and banana peels and all this kind of stuff into your super juice, right? This is equal to you doing your 511. Okay. And do we pour 511 straight onto our plants? No. We put it in a whole gallon, two gallons of water for like a capful, right? Your girl was not thinking. I was in pain. I was trying to come out here, you know, do stuff. I poured this high nitrogen stuff on my plants, on my squash, on my herbs, on different things. And every single one of them things either burnt up or died. Yeah this is strong concentrate y'all you use a cap full with a gallon or two of water do not do what i did do not just go pour this on your plants unless you are trying to kill them <laughs> so your girl did this so let me show you um i'm just gonna show you these watermelon leaves because uh there ain't no watermelon over here yet these are new ones but look what I did. I freaking fried 
that watermelon leaf good thing you know it has other leaves it'll be okay but look at that do not do this <laughs> do not i almost tried to take myself out of watermelon wars <laughs> i almost did uh because your girl was pouring this stuff like it was a birthday party or something okay so don't do that uh don't do that <laughs> dilute it dilute it okay so what another thing i did was separate my strawberry tower uh it was not getting enough water it was not so they were starting to dry up and look real bad and the leaves were drying up so i went on and separated my little strawberry tower out these are just the dollar tree um three um section little tiers and then you just stack them up on top of each other like that but um water was not getting to them and so i went on and separated them out look at that isn't that just gorgeous things like this just show you okay cynthia you don't do everything bad <laughs> i'm getting some more leaves on here i don't even know what kind of plant flower this is but it's showing me some love showing me some love all right guys so um that's pretty much all I really wanted to show that I had planted so far. This bed here with these dried up sunflowers and this kind of stuff. And I have some peppers in here that hate me. Uh, I'm going to clear this bed out. It has some marigolds in there. I may leave them. But uh, this here, which I'm going to weed this out. But you see this here? This was my summer squash. It's supposed to be a beautiful summer squash. And the squash vine borer ate it ate it killed it i mean just man full of them in there full yep this was where i had my uh red russian kale i left the the uh, the roots in there so that's what that is the trunks of that but i'm gonna come in here this evening and clean out this bed um, all these weeds and stuff that need to be pulled out. I'm going to do that. I wet the bed down real good so it make it a little easier when I do pull it out. But yeah. So that's what's going on at CC Texas Garden. Yeah. It doesn't matter how long you've been gardening. We still screw up stuff. Okay. So, you know, learn from my mistake. Do not roast your plants with straight super juice. And uh, go ahead and get your seeds in for the fall. I'm going to be eating some greens for Thanksgiving. How about you? <laughs>